I'm John Benito. I'm director of tech support for Meyer Sound, and uh, just uh, you know, I'm excited about what we're going to be doing with uh, our expansion of low voltage products in uh, uh, at the, at, at, um, in, in some of the new things we have coming. The new higher powered power supply, the MPS 48 HP was designed around some cinema surround speakers and some electronics that we've uh, expanded on uh, for our cinema line. And it's also, that family of electronics has also allowed us to go into some other areas that are, that are pretty exciting for, for us to look at our, our, uh, our PA products. We've gone to some really high peak power and high powered uh, low voltage solutions in cinema that led us also into bringing them back into some of the family of the Ultra Series, um, uh, like the UP Junior, the UPM, um, and make those low voltage options for the installer. And what that does is it gives us much more flexibility um, where we have to put a lot of, uh, a number of different loudspeaker locations in ceilings and walls. Um, it makes it much easier to install them with class two wiring. Class two is kind of a US based um, uh, standard for, for the electrical code where it allows the cable to be out of conduit as long as it's pretty protected from you know any kind of gases that uh, would be problematic for air returns that can hurt people. So there's plenum rated cable for that. But it's a single cable that allows us to give us D DC and audio into one jacket and make it very easy to integrate it into uh, remote systems, but the wire doesn't have to be in conduit. So um, the, what we introduced at the beginning of this year is the UPM, the UP Junior, and um, the UMS subwoofer um, all expanded our low voltage line to, to add to the products we already had, which were the MM4, the UP4XP, and the MM10 family of products. Um, so we have so many now low voltage solutions that are getting into some higher power levels to give us more flexibility for not only the cinema line, not only the Constellation series, but also with our, our, um, our PA products. So it's you know expanding our world into installed systems. I mean, these are uh, cinema systems are installed. The Constellation systems are, are certainly installed, though they can be portable, but they're typically an installed system to go into integrated into rooms. Now we have that available in our live sound systems for you know a, a corporate boardroom. Um, playback system of, of film or video in a, in a, a listening environment or a, a corporate boardroom or just a home, you know, or, or small system. One of the things that I've been very excited about is, you know, a, a lot of these rooms that we've seen sound reproduction in or, or reinforced sound in um, with presenters in meeting rooms where you may have a meeting that's going for five, four, for an hour, for six hours, for eight hours, it's a long exposure to really bad audio, right? That can become very fatiguing to the ear. And we put up with, with systems that are a bit fatiguing in terms of their distortion level for so long now that just really kind of take the life out of us, not to take the life out of us, but they, they certainly are fatiguing to us for long-term exposure to sound systems and may just give the audio, the audio industry a bit of a bad name. If we have good microphones now, we have good electronics, and we have sound loudspeaker systems that are low in distortion, which our products are, it's much easier and less fatiguing on the ear. To have a room with, you know, 30 people, 50 people, even 100 people, we have some low voltage solutions now that make it, to make exposure to these kind of sound reinforcement systems um, a, a much more uh, more pleasant thing to listen to. And we have higher intelligibility from that, a good high peak power. The one thing that people have noticed with the surround speakers in our cinema line is that there's more dimensions to, to sound. The standards of the SPL level that we're putting into our surrounds in cinema are the same levels that are standards within the cinema industry. But there's because there's there's more peak power in those loudspeakers and the surrounds, there's more dimension to the audio and it takes this, it's taking the imaging off the screen. Not only because our systems are well phase aligned, but there's more there's more impact from the surrounds that was ever there before with some of the cheaper loudspeakers that they've been putting in cinemas. So that's a huge advantage for us in you know in what they're hearing in uh, in surround systems. That same kind of thing can be brought into a number of different environments in to install systems. Molto importante poter avere una gamma di prodotti low voltage 
soprattutto per il mercato dell'installazione e soprattutto in tutte quelle situazioni dove avere un'alimentazione a 220-240 volt può essere un problema logistico. Io ho avuto personalmente delle, delle esperienze dove mi hanno vietato delle installazioni vicino magari a delle fontane, a delle piscine, proprio perché i diffusori attivi hanno alimentazione a 220-240 volt. In questo caso con l'alimentazione a 48 volt i diffusori rientrano in quella che in America si chiama classe di cablaggio 2 e quindi io potrò utilizzare anche i cavi liberamente senza doverli inserire all'interno di certi condotti. Un grosso vantaggio nelle installazioni in ambienti particolarmente critici come il cablaggio.